how often do you use a cell phone? How about your children? Although many dismiss the link between cell phone use and cancer, research has shown that consumers who use mobile devices without headsets face an increased likelihood of developing certain types of brain or salivary gland tumors. Specifically, heavy cell phone use without a headset has been shown to put individuals at an increased risk for glioma, a malignant form of brain cancer, acoustic neuroma, a tumor of the nerve that runs from the ear to the brain, meningioma, a tumor that grows on the layer of tissue that covers the brain and the spine, tumors of the salivary glands. As a result of these injuries, plaintiffs have filed a growing number of cell phone radiation lawsuits against cell phone manufacturers. These cases, pending in the Superior Court of Washington, D.C., allege that tumors and brain cancers resulted from cell phone radiation exposure. The cell phone radiation lawsuits allege that cell phone manufacturers failed to warn and protect users from dangerous and hazardous radio frequency emissions, putting consumers at an increased risk for developing brain cancer and other non-cancerous tumors. These lawsuits rely on cell phone research stemming back from 2002, when a Swedish study led by Dr. Lennart Hardell showed an 80% greater risk of developing brain tumors in long-term first-generation cell phone users than those who did not use cell phones. In 2004, the Karolinska Institute of Sweden found that 10 or more years of cell phone use increased the risk of acoustic neuroma on the side of the head where the phone was most often held. In 2005, the British Medical Journal published a study of Swedish rural residents finding that those who used a cell phone for over three years were more likely to develop brain tumors. In 2008, an expansive interphone study found that the highest frequency group of cell phone users was twice as likely to develop glioma. In 2011, the World Health Organization reclassified cell phone radiation as possibly carcinogenic placing cell phones in the same category as lead and chloroform. Not all scientists agree, and there is some controversy in the medical community over this issue. For example, in July 2011, the first study on cell phone use and risk of brain tumors in children and adolescents conducted by researchers at the Swiss Tropical and Public Health Institute concluded that there was no link between cell phone use and cancer in children. That study, however, has recently come under significant fire by others in the medical community. In April 2012, scientists from the Environmental Health Trust issued a letter stating the study was flawed, calling it sloppy, and noting that the study data actually shows that children who used cell phones had a 115% increased risk of brain tumors over those who did not. If you have been a longtime cell phone user and developed glioma, acoustic neuroma, meningioma, or a tumor of the salivary gland, you may have a legal claim against the manufacturers of your cell phone. The lawyers at Bernstein Liebhardt LLP are heavily involved in these cases and would be happy to provide you with a free case review. 